To celebrate Oklahoma's first 100 years as a state, the Metropolitan Library System has asked George Nye to share some fascinating stories about this great place and its people. Kate Bernard is best known today as our good angel because of her crusade for social reform in Oklahoma. She earned this title because of her compassion for the poor and the oppressed and because she tirelessly spoke for those who had no voice. But she was no Nibiru society lady. Kate saw politics as the best way to wage her war on poverty and she proved to be very good at using public relations and the media to achieve her goals. She wrote long articles for the Daily Oklahoma to raise awareness about Oklahoma City's new slums. And when the farm lobby wavered in their support for her anti-poverty plan, she told them God will take their corn stalks and dry them down into the skeletons of dead children. She got important national figures like Jane Addams and Luther Burbank to write letters and articles in support of her causes. She even succeeded in getting Kate's planks added to our state constitution. These three planks provided laws restricting child labor and provided for free mandatory education and also provided for a commissioner of charity and corrections. She was so powerful that the framers of the Oklahoma Constitution intentionally provided that the commissioner of charities and corrections was the only office in Oklahoma a woman could hold. It was an office to which she was elected in 1907, becoming the first woman to be elected to any state office in American history. And she couldn't even vote for herself because women didn't yet have the right to vote. Thanks, Kate, for being such a champion for those who need help.